Hi, this is the July 24, 2022 issue of Philippine Star. Uh, ano to? Sunday issue ng Philippine Star newspaper where I, Wilson Lee Flores, wrote an exclusive interview in my column. Uh, front page siya, front page of Philippine Star newspaper plus the whole the whole page C3 of the newspaper in the Sunday lifestyle section. There is an online version, ah, please uh, look for the online version. Exclusive interview by me of the number one most popular lab team in Philippine showbiz today. Which to me, uh, I believe number one sila sa popularity, the Kat Niel lab team. Catherine Bernardo, the beautiful, talented actress, plus the actor Daniel Padilla. Uh, in my interview, the focus of the interview, of course, is their ongoing teleserie or TV series uh, of ABS-CBN. The title is Too Good to Be True. And what's interesting about the interview of Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla that two these two artistas they are very humble they're really down to earth they're very funny also and they are very romantic in a showbiz where there are so many beautiful handsome sexy celebrities where there are so many temptations and there are so many stories of partners, love teams, even husband and wife uh, separating, quarreling, scandals and then uh, changing partners like changing clothes uh, itong dalawang artista na to, very unique about them they are loyal to each other they are very romantic this year they are already 11 years together as a love team not only love team for showbiz, for TV, for movies, they are a real life love team in true life. And then in my interview, I asked them the secrets to their success. Why they are so popular, number one popularity. Number two, I asked them what's the secret behind their durability, endurance. Back it up to now, they are still popular, they are still successful, people still love them. Another thing I asked them also, how they survived that two and a half years, two years pandemic, COVID-19 crisis, lockdown. How did they survive emotionally, physically, uh, yung mga sikreto nila to survive crisis. One thing else I ask them, which to me is very interesting, not only for showbiz celebrities, but for ordinary people, especially the two of them are young uh, success stories. How do you save money? How do they invest or save money? My advisor Basila, secret tips. What else did I ask them about love and about passion for their work? Uh, and also, yun, too Good To Be True, the story uh, for people who don't know, Too Good To Be True, si Daniel is a law student, a working student na law student, uh, nag-mechanic siya and whatever, and his father is in jail, in prison for an unfair major case, victim siya of uh, injustice, so he's trying to free his father from jail. Ito naman, Si Catherine Bernardo in the teleserie Too Good To Be True is actually a nurse but uh, acting secretly as the apprentice or assistant of a real estate magnate or tycoon who has a secret sickness. So para people wouldn't know that he has a secret sickness uh, that will affect his company and his business future. So kunyari this uh, nurse is assistant down niya, apprentice uh, so maghuhulian sila kasi this guy uh, si Daniel pretends to be a mechanic and other 
uh, identities in order to get close to this real estate tycoon who he suspects has something to do with the unjust unjust imprisonment of his father so if you have time please read the philippine star siguro i will share some of the things that they said na lang but you go and read the column ha? ang sinabi nila sa philippine star that i uh, in my column that i was very touched the two of them said one of the secrets for their success is they don't just grab any tv or movie projects or every celebrity endorsement deal that comes along they are very choosy uh, ibig sabihin the choice of movie tv projects they study it they analyze it that should be good quality and good for their image and that they want to do it sabi pa ni daniel padilla one secret they give 100 percent of their effort their dedication and professionalism to their work that means whatever you do whatever we do whether hardinero ka carpenter ka writer teacher doctor whatever we have to love our work the way they love their work dedication uh, professionalism sabi ni katrin bernardo sa akin another secret to their success now is no matter up and down in life success or failure ka always stay humble sabi ni katrin bernardo and i'll tell you a story na interesting in 2017 the first time that i met these two uh, celebrities i was invited by uh now san juan mayor francis samora at the time 2017 he wasn't a mayor yet he invited me to the opening night of district district 8 gastro pub in green hill san juan city owned by him and other celebrities and then uh, when i op when i went into the gastro pub this district 8 opening night nila yon, the first opening night special guests only allowed inside and many media and photographers and videographers tv cameramen when i entered the chicago ang daming mga flash ng mga cellphone cameras uh, tv cameras uh, photographer camera sa chicago uh, i told myself ang dami pala nagbabasa ng philippine star column ko na chicago kasi ang daming mga flash 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 taking picture of me tapos the people pa inside nagka-clap-clap at cheer na tsak ako sabi ko it never happened to me hindi naman ako politiko singer hindi naman ako supermodel artista then after a few seconds na 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 uto ako akala ko ako yun I look around kasi after I walk in na hindi pa rin ako pinapansin sa likod pala so I look around sa likod Kat Niel pala yun it's it's Catherine Bernardo pala and Daniel Padilla right behind me walking in that's why all this picture that was the first time I met uh, Katniel Lapkin and very humble kasi pala si Daniel Padilla is business partner pala of Francis Samora now the mayor of San Juan City at that time hindi pa also business partner of James Shep the basketball player uh, plus other celebrities so I asked for a picture with the two of them they were very humble, very nice that's the first time I encountered the very popular, very talented, good-looking, and down-to-earth humble Kat Neil Labkin. So, read this column. Ang sabi ni, uh, I will tell you na lang some of the things they said. Sabi ni Daniel Padilla and Catherine Bernardo, one way to survive crisis and they survive the pandemic is support and presence of your family the love and presence of family tapos sabi pa ni Catherine Bernardo very romantic one other secret naka-survive sila because Daniel Padilla was very loyal to her and her family si Catherine Bernardo daw sabi niya in their home in their family walang guys so walang tatay walang kuya no uncle no father no elder brother in that family home so during the worst times the lockdown the hard lockdown 2020 uh, COVID-19 pandemic hard lockdown Daniel Padilla was always visiting personally helping groceries siya nag-grocery for the family iba daw yung love and faithfulness of Daniel Padilla 
towards Catherine Bernardo and her uh, family. Then I, I asked pa Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla, you are popular, successful, very good looking, sexy. How come di kayo natempted sa ibang artista, ibang actress, sexy actor, sexy actress? How come you are faithful to each other? Wala kayong fling-fling. Hindi kayo nag-away na selosan-selosan, ghosting. Alam mo what, what uh, Daniel Padilla and Captain Bernardo said? It's their moral values. They love each other. They are faithful. And sabi pa ni Daniel Padilla, they are not together for the fling lang for short term. They have long-term plans to be together talaga. Maybe as husband and wife na yan, di ba? And then, sabi pa ni uh, Catherine Bernardo, uh, that's why people respect them. Because of their values, the way they treat each other. Uh, many interesting stories in my uh, exclusive interview with the stars of Too Good To Be True, Kat Niel. I remember pa, si now Senator Robin Padilla telling me, Unlike other superstars of other TV networks or ABS or whatever stations, si Daniel Padilla daw, kap, anak of kapatid niya, the son of his brother, uh, his nephew, hindi siya creation of a studio, hindi siya creation of a movie company or a TV network na binilt up, pinapromote, pinasikat. Natural daw. Natural ang talent niya, natural yung popularity niya, bigla na lang naging ano, raw and really talented. So, I admire the two celebrities of Katniel Love Team and they are very good role models for young people in fairness to them. So, congratulations to Katniel and thank you to Philippine Star, my editors, for uh, helping me do this very nice uh, full page, one page uh, column on the Sunday issue of Philippine Star, July 24, 2022, Sunday. Please uh, like this uh, YouTube uh, channel and like this particular video and share to other friends. Please also go to the Philippine Star uh, online version of this column, read it, share to other people also. Thank you very much to everyone.
Thank you for watching this video.